Welcome, friends, once again to a word of hope for Wednesday of the second week in Ordinary Time. Do you remember that advice our Lord gave Samuel yesterday when he was on his journey to discover and anoint the new king? God said to him, as you go about your work, don't do what human beings normally do, just look at appearances, but look beyond the surface. And as the Lord does, look to the heart of things, of people. See beyond to the heart of the matter. And we see today why God wanted David anointed the future king of Israel. In David, we have a man of the heart. As he says to Saul, he says, let your majesty not lose courage. I am at your service to go and fight this Philistine. David, a man of heart, is willing to take on Goliath in this familiar tale we've heard since we were children. And why does he succeed? Because he has a trusting heart. How do we know that? Because David goes on to reassure Saul, who looks at David and looks at the smallness of his size and wonders, how is he going to take on this Philistine? And David says, the Lord who delivered me from the claws of the lion and the bear will also keep me safe from the clutches of this Philistine. David looks at the rear view mirror of his life and says, the Lord was there for me before. With his name, I go forward. I can trust him again. Would that we could all go into our battles that seem that the odds are insurmountable with David's trusting heart. Friends, we know how that worked out. David's trusting heart is vindicated. We look now at the gospel and we see that Jesus is trying to have a breakthrough with the hardened hearts of the Pharisees. His anger is upset because even in the midst of human suffering right in front of them, they can't see what the heart of a normal human being would feel and want to do if there was any shred shred of empathy. And that is to heal the man whose withered hand is right there before them. You and I can also at times be heartless with things right in front of us that should evoke our minds and our hearts and our sympathy and our empathy. Let us ask God today for the courage to have a trusting heart, both in those moments of insurmountable odds, but also in those moments when we see human suffering right before us. That's a courage we can always look to our Lord to give us because he's there for us. God bless you.